Welcome to the Snow Goose Show. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning to the people. Good morning. The beautiful people at home. What are you calling? Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, lovely people. Probably at work at your desk, staying warm, or maybe you're out here freezing your tail off like us. We have a crazy, uh, awesome south wind. We're on a big feed. Lots of birds on the horizon coming our way, and so I just wanted to open it up real quick, tell you guys thank you for being here all season. Um, this is my first real year getting after it on the snow goose conservation. It is going pretty decent, not gonna complain. We got, look at these right in front, ducks. Duck Big. pintails. Pintail feed here is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at these pintails. Studs, look at them all. They're all studs. <laughs> Uh, we got Cole, he, uh, he's helping me uh, all conservation season, which isn't a long one. It's pretty short lived here, but we're going to try to get after it today. These things are about to be cool. Yeah, these pintails are about to just oh. sit right on down. Snow goose, we got geese over the uh, elevator, boys. Look at these pintails. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. Dude, they're pretty. Oh. Just studs. They're all studs. On the right, guys. Shut up! Oh, we all scratched. We got one. Oh, did we get two? Load up, guys. Load up. Yep, load your gun. Yep. Here, 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 drop. Back. Fred! Fred! Back! Fred! Hammered that big snow. Did you? Not me. It was Dude, I completely hammered. missed. I whiffed bad. God, don't hit the wire, Fred. Fred, back! Good boy. Here, here, drop. Heel. 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 Lay down. Yeah, they got all the way in that sucker. They got all the way in there. That was awesome. What? Look at that. <laughs> oh, they're all freaked up. We could have had about 25 minutes. Right there. They're doing it better. Look. Oh no. Yeah, you got a video. That's beautiful, dude. Look at these pintails. Oh my gosh, on the deck. Stay. They don't like the clouds, no? Oh yeah. No, we're gonna get these boys. Watch out for the ducks. Let the old 20 gauge eat, baby. Let the chopper eat, baby. The old chopper's down there eating. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. That's a little more good adult bird. Here, 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 drop, back. Nice. That was awesome. That was great. We are doing all right. We can take a breath. You know, oh, we can breathe. Relax, pull Relax the trigger. They're coming. Yeah, they made it. Yes, we're really worried. It's a 20 mile flight today. And uh, we're worried. Drop, 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 back. Back. One more. One more bird out there, Frederick. There's a one it's more. Mile flight, heavy wind. I'm glad they made it. That's an adult bird. Yeah, they are. Yeah, buddy. That one's an adult bird. That was, they're all adults, so he, he found Love it. it. Woo hoo hoo! Oh yeah! Here comes.
comes Freddie. So the decoys uh, we got out, these are my brand new uh, Final Approach. Big shout out to Rogers and Final Approach for hooking me up with an awesome discount on these. They're brand new, collapsible. They're stain resistant. They shed water to hold another material. Here, 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 drop, drop, heel. That's a, that's an adult, well, almost adult, Rossi. But these look awesome. They got huge backs on them. They plume up extremely easy. They don't look like a shriveled up piece of paper. So, birds in front. Slide over the top, baby. Oh, they may not. The three are. Oh, baby. Don't freak out. That's a good freak out. Good, come on. Let's go. Heel. Catch it up. Let's go. <laughs> Drop. So we put out roughly 1,400 socks. This is the kill hole. Really spread out here at the foot. And then when we get up on the hill up here, you'll kind of see how big it is. It's huge. I bought 1,500 of these FAs. And they are super bright. I really like them. Nice big backs on them. She's big. Woo! Another juvenile. Chalk another up for the good guys. Come on. Good boy. Good. Oh, we're tired. We're tired. <laughs> that was a hike, dude. Uh -huh. Juvie yeah. sailed out there so far. The corn's so thick. Old Freddy, he needs some help. Wing chasers, y'all know wing chasers, my boys. Guide service, look at Fred, look at him. Look, look at him. He's watching the birds. They're right here now. Watch his face. <laughs> I know, buddy. He says, Dad, why aren't you shooting? <laughs> he doesn't understand why we're not shooting. <laughs> Dad, right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, he's he's telling me, Dad, come on, man. I'm looking right at him. Uh oh, he's barking at him. <laughs> he, he's so funny. Fred's such a character, man. He'll watch them birds. Uh, but I'm usually out this way with my boys, wing chasers. Uh, Y'all have seen them a ton on my videos, and um, every single conservation season out this way, uh, the sprigged pintails just studs clouds of them every single spring it's incredible makes me wish duck season started a month later than it actually does you know give us some more duck days because these birds are such mounter birds at this time of year you know you kill a pintail it's going to have a sprig on it yeah it, it's it's not hunting season anymore but I wanted to show you guys this. So this is uh, one of my new trailers. You guys haven't, I, actually you guys have seen it. I bought it from old P Diddy. P Diddy got married. He's growing up to be a man, you know. So buying some of his stuff from him. Um, but he's not gonna use very much anymore except for when he's with me, you know? But here is uh, the new decoy spread. Looking like an absolute mess. Uh, the decoys, I love them. Brand new FA, 1500 of them bad boys. I might be getting rid of them. Yeah, I like them, but I might be getting rid of them. 
uh, might be going to a new decoy company all in all in general I'm not quite sure yet but I really want to uh, but I love them big shout out to FA for hooking me up uh, with the awesome discounts um, these were actually the first run of these decoys and since then they have fixed some of the issues uh, they were just kind of coming apart um, see this was basically let's see one two three four five six seven I don't know there's like 20 of them that came apart on that hunt when we were picking them up basically the tops would pull off I called them customer service was right with me actually the sales rep that I bought them from got a hold of me and he really took care of me so thank you FA your customer service is awesome <laughs> That is the sound of rainfall, my friends. Very welcome to let me tell you what, it's been raining all morning, thank goodness. Uh, let's go in here though, check it out. She has been empty for quite some time. She's ready to party, let me tell you what. I know I'm ready for season to be back. <sighs> yes, it, um, it's gonna be a long summer, y'all. First off, let me get a few things straight here. Number one, number one, Yes, Fred did break some. I seen it, I get it, I know. When I'm laying in the white spread like that and I don't, I don't have a dog blind with me, I guess I'm just gonna have to start using my new Higdon dog blind. The Higdon dog blind does not allow dogs to break. It's got a, a closing front door on it where they can stick their head out and mark birds, but you have to open the door for them. It has became a lifesaver with Fred not breaking any dog, right? But like I was saying, uh, when I'm laying in the white spread and I don't, and I can't hold him, uh, and I'm shooting my gun, obviously, he likes to break, just the way it is. Now, if I'm in an A-frame, obviously not shooting my gun, and I just barely hold his collar, he don't try, he don't struggle, he don't try to yank me out of the blind, he knows. But when dad's wielding the gun, he knows he can get away with a lot more, but the new dog blind has canceled that. So let's get that out of the way. Yes, my dog is not perfect. I do not claim him to be perfect. I love my dog. He's a good old meat dog is what he is. Uh, number two or three thing, the 20 gauge. I hunted all season long with the 20 gauge pretty much, except for some big hunts. I have probably two to three, maybe even four snow goose hunts coming that y'all have not seen. So. Be looking out for those. As well, I have an awesome 410 pigeon hunt that me and Cole did down in Texas coming y'all's way. You can't miss that one either. But we are still booking for Sandhill Flyways, guys. If you've never been on a guided hunt and you're a subscriber of the channel, you wanna come and try it out. Honestly, try out a guided hunt. A lot of folks say, well, you know, we're not just, we're not gonna waste our money on a guided hunt. Guys, check this out. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm not saying that y'all over here don't hunt, but y'all over here don't get hunts like we do right here. The Central Flyway is amazing, and as you can see, most of our clients come from the East. A lot of Georgia folks, a lot of Tennessee folks, a lot of, you know, up around Louisville, tons of people, Indianapolis, all the way down. Baton Rouge, look at all the Louisiana folks, yeah. Once you hunt the Central Flyway here, you're addicted. Uh, a lot of first timers have came in the last three years and they've came every year afterwards and they plan to. So one thing we all have in common here, all the clients, all of us, um, the YouTube channel. It brings everybody together. It's amazing um, what the YouTube channel does here and the camaraderie that we have every single night at this table, Burt cooking. I'm telling you, it is amazing. If you guys are interested in booking a hunt here with me, staying in the lodge, check it out, sandhillflyways.com. I will link it down below at the top of the description, uh, November through February. That's our hunts, that's when we run. Uh, we are the first wintering state, wintering state in the Central Flyway. What that means is Kansas is the first state where uh, the big migration, where they like to put their feet down, refuel back up, before some of them go to Texas and Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? So we get a lot of good birds. We get the first timers that are just putting their feet down. They might be coming from freaking South Dakota. A lot of them just fly over Nebraska. And when they get here, they are fresh and they are fun. 
but fill out the inquire to book form sandhillflyaways.com and i will be getting a hold of you please serious inquires only thank you i cannot wait to have all the lockers full again folks i'm telling you lots of good memories made in this room lots of early mornings people going oh it's too early it's getting old <laughs> it's not full yet not yet getting there oh there it is okay so the tube's full and hold on what's on the side of your gun there Dude, uh, you got one extra just for good luck yeah. like you need it bud 